Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Today I'm going to show you some spicy zombie deck and featuring King of Scar 7. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is just a primary build. I only have one uh, Scar 7, King of Scar 7 from the level up as I'm at level 25 now. So I hope you like this video. Do drop a like and subscribe me on my channel and follow me on my Facebook in the link in the description down below. And look up for a deck that is coming on your way, a new video featuring Zombie World. I think it should be out in 12 to 18 hours after this video is released. So <clears throat> stay tuned for the video. I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, let's go through the deck list. This is just a very, I would say, simple setup. Definitely, we have three Gonzuki, and the purpose is to mill out the Scarf Servant because it's vital to get them to the graveyard for the king to appear in high attack. So, three Gonzuki, and I have three, yep, bup. So, this this guy basically is a level 6, so I can do tribute summon if I need to, or some special summon by. Gonzuki effect and if it become a effect monster once per turn I can special summon one zombie type from my hand or you know either play a graveyard so that's pretty good and I have heavy knight of the frame just you know just to add some master to the to the zombie deck with 1800 attack and definitely the king of scar 7 I will definitely run two of this if I have two copies but I thought I will get it that soon Maybe another couple of days. And next we have Samurai Scar. It's just is a one turn one turn and one turn milling uh, deck that you know mill out Scar Seven to the graveyard. And Bacon Saber because this cutie Scarly Piggy will always save us for a turn. And three Scar Seven. So I'm using a Bonds Skill which is straight to the grave and which means wasteland will be activated and it will just you know increase the attack and defense of all zombie type monster and for the spell and the trap I have just one anti-magic arrow two mirror wall to protect my zombies two wall of disruption one Xing Zheng Hu just to lock down the back rope and two of Tuta Mas and this Tutamas is when the spell or trap is activated that target exactly one zombie type monster on the field and no other cards neglect the activation. So basically it works against super headlong and econ and you know so on and so forth. It's pretty good. I mean just for caution measure. So let's move on to the highlight. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do drop a thumbs up, drop a like of course and Leave a comment down below for any other deck type and follow me on my Facebook and subscribe to this channel. That is crucial. We are reaching 200 subscribers very soon. I hope that we can achieve it this week and we will be featuring a new game tomorrow. So be sure to stay tuned to it. I hope you guys will support me even though I bring another game. So, you know, have some fun together, have some interaction. So start with Wasteland in, in my fear and it's a Yasha. So Gonzuki just to me out Scar Servant to the graveyard and go for the attack, 1900. So, but it's kind of surprised that he runs Dikini. So you know it's kind of weird and I have a mirror wall in the back row so I'm protected sort of. And I activate my Gonzuki effect because I was in the graveyard but I have to banish Scar Servant as I have to protect my ass for this turn. And he just attacked me right up to my trap and it's basically GG from here because I have Gonzuki, I have it book and an anti-magic arrow for the easy peasy KO punch. So this deck is pretty vital I would say viable if let's say you do not purposely stall for the king to appear you will get a I would say a 60-70% win rate with this deck. If you are waiting for the king, which I have featured in a couple of the video, uh, that takes a bit of trick. So next game we are against the Paradox Brother. 
I'm not sure whether I'll be facing a ninja brothers here. So let's stay tuned and wait for it. So straight to the grave. Again, it's the spell. Spell. He do restart, which kind of surprised me. I thought we will just do three start motions. So on here, I set Shin Jeng Hu and two tap mask and set a Scar Servant. He set all and he's a melee deck. So Scar Styri, Shin Jeng Hu, I long down two back row. That's the purpose of this this guy here. And I just tribute summon. It book is up. I don't mind. I mean. Massive mob, I can tribute some in the next turn. No biggie about it. So he direct attack me. I take it like a man. I take it like a man. So Scar Starry banish for next turn. I uh, yield up and attack. And some numerous hero to you know improve his life. And he's trying for the OTK here. He's trying to knock up the boy. Can I survive with 400 life points? So one of the thing I can do is I can set this to norm effect monster, special summon this from graveyard and anti-magic arrow just for the trolling and go for the knockout bench. So for two replays you have see this it pop zombie that is you know very very vital because of bonds zombie that has you know it, it lift up a bit. I would say it had become a tier 3 tier 2 deck. So I hope you guys, you know, have some fun playing some zombies. Although Christmas is around the period, around the season, I do hope that you guys give some love to the zombie. So against T-Gardener, we do a standby. And I have straight to the grave. So I start off pretty, pretty okay, but okay. Turn 1 against Ice Barrel Monster. So I know I have to be careful here. Every, every step I do... You know, I have to cap I have to be aware of the magic triangle attack. But I'm I'm lucky that, you know, I start in turn two, I would say that. So no monster, Gonzuki. And just, you know, me up Scar Servant. I'll go for the attack. And he's just used magic triangle. Show me three of the ice bearer monster to destroy my back row. I'm kind of sad from that, you know. And all the effect is all oh, he attacked me. I have to use Gonzuki effect because the only chance I can win, I mean, to make a comeback next turn is to use Heavy Knight of the Frame special effect. That's why I have to do that. If not, I I would just, you know, consider loss, but keep that in mind. Change to effect, banish this guy because he's special summon. So he showed me a, a few cards and I activate my mirror wall because I do not want him to to attack me for anything. So now he's just, you know, pretty cautious. He's, he's just waiting his turn to get the magic triangle. I know about it. So I need to set a bacon saver just to protect myself. And I set a scar server as well just to make a comeback if I need to. And now the magic triangle comes. See what he would destroy. And he destroyed two Tamas. Too bad. If not, you know, I can use two Tamas effect. He attacked me. Bacon Saber is in the graveyard. I set more. I just waiting for the Scar King of the Scar Seven to be out. And finally, he's out. But with just 2200, potentially, King of the Scar Seven can be 4200 attack. Because I have one Scar Seven banished. I yet to have one more King of the Scar Servant, so this is a 4200 beta with Wasteland. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty viable for just a lev level 1 monster. So, more of Greed, show me more cards, uh, just showing off what Ice Barrel he has. I have more than you in my deck, just I'm humble. So, you know, he just brings slow, I just attack him. And now he used the magic triangle. And I'm I'm praying here. Basically I'm praying. Target me. Target the king. And he hates the king. Two Tamas comes to play. I neglect this activation of the spell trap card. And definitely it's GG from here. He left with 50 health points. I left with 400 samurai mask for the third. And go 
four thick knockout punch. Not easy peasy, but it's definitely cheesy spicy. So I will be trying my best still to post a video for dueling every day, but I'm trying my best to slowly introduce different game to this channel and you know for different viewers to interact with each other and also to share the gaming community. Another Paris Dog Bar Brother fight. It's kind of weird. I mean, Tree Star Emotion is out, is gone next year, so I'm kind of sad to be honest. Xing Jiang Hu Mirror Wall and Gozuki just to mirror out Scarf Servant. He's set, 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 and Tree Star Emotion. I Xing Jiang Hu. I'm kind of worried honestly because I thought he's playing ninja and this this is just a silver ninja so I mean I just go for the attack as you can see in this turn in the next turn I mean he just said and this I, I thought it's gonna be crimson ninja so I I'm like okay and I'm shocked Saigon of the tight thunder and okay it's different kind of deck so I can be a bit more aggressive he attacked to my scar servant so, Scarf Samurai just do me a Gonzuki and a special effect, Banishing Bacon Saber and a 3200 King of the Scar Servant is born. And I'm I'm not too sure what is this that type about. I'm kind of I'm kind of confused that I see in the PvP ladder. I think people just want to have fun there rather than you know being the boring burn. He give up. He draw dead. But that's good thing for the zombie. So this will be the last replay of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have some concept for zombie deck. And wish you success in farming, bonds, and you know, just have some fun with different kind of decks. It's always boring playing the same old metal deck or the archetype deck. You know, just, just go for some variety. Variety is always fun to have. So do drop a like, subscribe to my channel for more, and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and upload. So Samurai Scar, just to throw up more Scar Servant, because I, I, I hate drawing them to my hand honestly. <coughs> they deserve to be in the graveyard rather than on my hand. So the last game is going to be a spicy one against a Cyber Angel deck. <laughs> and Dikini. I have two time mouse, I can't use it, but I have mirror wall. So he he's, he's going hard on me. 3700 attack. And I was like, okay. Pretty painful. I need the heart of the card. Can I draw something that is spicy? And Gonzuki comes, I just activate my mirror wall. And mirror up Skull Servant. I attack him for 50. Just just surviving a bit. And that's a fulfillment of the contract. I was like, what the? So this this game is not really good to your boy here. And the Cyber Angel again. And go for the Empty Fear. But I banish it. I banish it. Look at me. I banish this guy. I summon here, but this is te te technical play. A very good tactical play by me. He left with just 300 life point. I left with 150 life point. You know, it's like Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali. Left, right, center. See who will survive. And Mirror War is run out. And a special summon. Gonzuki for the OT game. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And wish that you are patient enough to watch this last video as this is a very spicy one i wish leave the last the best for the, my last replay okay have a good day good afternoon good night and signing off and peace <laughs>